get a good one. A reason, a reason. Come on, get it in your mind. And then I'm going to let you go in and express your praise today. Come on, get it in your mind. Hallelujah. Hold on to that thought. Come on, think about how good he's been. Come on, think about how he brought you out. Most of all, think about how he saved you. And he raised you. And he delivered you.
You know why I'm in love with him? Oh, cause in his arms, in his arms, I feel protected. Come on, how many know you're protected? In his arms, never disconnected, never disconnected.
praise, thinking we can't make no noise in this house. Hallelujah. I don't care about no internet. Come on, y'all. We got to give God praise. Come on, we got to release. Come on, somebody release it today. In the name of Jesus. Come on, the Holy
lot of us, we, 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 we got a one-way conversation when we get on our knees or yes. whatever you do. Yes. Amen. You don't always have to be on your knees. You, how many pray in your car? Come on, how many pray in your car? Amen. Pray, pray, pray. I, I, I find myself praying in weird places. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. There's, there's always an altar somewhere. Tell somebody, there's always an altar somewhere. It's wherever you are, the presence of the Lord is there. Hallelujah. Ain't no proper place. Come on, somebody. God is an everywhere God. Amen. And that's what I love about him, that whenever I need him, I can call on him, y'all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I ain't got to wait for no specific time. Amen. I get to make time to communicate with God. Amen. Anybody making time to communicate with God? I mean, taking our special time. Hallelujah. That this is a moment that I'm going to spend talking to you, Lord, and you talking to me. Hallelujah. I think we have it down pat, us talking. Oh, we good at that. <laughs> we are so good at talking to God. Amen. We got that down pat, y'all. I mean, boy, we can do that at any moment and at any time. But how do you know when God is talking to you? I've had a couple of discussions this week, amen, different ones calling me and asking me about God, you know, and that communication with God. Amen. And this is the reason why we came to the scripture in 2 Timothy chapter 2. Amen. And you know the scripture. Amen. But today, amen, just for uh, breaking it down a little bit today, I, I, I want to read this from the Amplified Version. But it says the same thing in the King James. We know we use the King James Version. But 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. It says, study and do your best to present yourself to God approved. A workman tested by trials who has no reason to be ashamed, accurately handling and skillfully teaching the word of truth. It says here in the 16th verse, but avoid the irreverent Babble and godless chatter with it profane empty words yes. for it will lead to further ungodliness yes. hallelujah now we're going to go back to King James so amen but y'all know it is a study to show yourself approved under God a workman needed not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth Amen. When we look at that word study, mm -hmm. hallelujah, when we look at that word study, amen, a lot of us, we, we think about, uh, you know, in school, how we have to get our books and study for a specific test. But here, this word study means to be diligent. Yeah. Somebody say diligent. Yeah. Amen. You got to be diligent, studying to show, to present yourself to God. Being approved. Hallelujah. Now we know that when we come to God, we are approved. We have the righteousness of God. Yes. It's not by just, you know, everyday things that we do, but we're just approved because that's how good God is. Yes. Amen. But today, amen, I want to talk about that, that communicating with God. A lot of us, amen, we think that it just comes in prayer, but I'm here to tell you today that if you want to hear the voice of God, tell somebody, study the word. I said, study the word. Get in the word of God. I believe that many of us, amen, we take studying the word of God too lightly. We think that 
Some of us have been saved a long time. What new can we get out of the book of John? What new can we get out of the book of Psalms? What new can we get out of the Gospels? But I'm here to tell you today, amen. No matter how many times you read it, amen, the word will always speak to you exactly where you are at that time. You'll always have something fresh to be able to extract from the word of God. Amen. Talking about communicating with God. Yeah. A lot of us, we're praying, we're talking to God, and we won't shut up. <laughs> you know, when somebody's supposed to be communicating with you, and if they're talking all the time, and you can't get a word in, Come on. That's right. hello, somebody. Come on, somebody say, let the Lord get a word in. Let the Lord get a word in. Come on, let him get a word in your life. And the way that we do that is by reading the written word of God. A lot of us are waiting for, you know, back in the day when the Lord took his finger and wrote the words on the wall or wrote the words on the... No, y'all don't want that. I don't want that. Where like you speaking to me one time. And let me tell you something that scared the bridges out of me. I was right here when I heard his voice. I'm good with reading the word. I said I'm good. I'm good with reading the word of God because it's the written word that's already established. Now you say, well, Pastor, what do you mean? How is that communicating with God? How is reading the written word communicating with God? Hallelujah. The Bible says in John chapter 1, verse 1, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And I'm here to say the word is God. You want the word of God. You want an answer. You got to find the scripture. Come on, y'all. That applies to your situation. Amen. When you're sick in your body, you find the scripture that he's my healer. Come on, y'all. There's a word written for your situation. God is not a God that he will lie. He's not a man that he would lie. He will not change his word on you. His word is written. Even when Jesus came and the devil tried to tempt him, he went back to the word. Hallelujah. He said it is written. Somebody say it is written.
God. Amen. So that's for the rest of your life because you will always have issues. Amen. Hello, somebody? Yes. Thank you, Lord God. In the good and the bad, maybe an issue might be good. How many know you need the word even for your good? I said you need the word even for your good. Because a lot of folks, they start doing good and they turn it back and say, I don't need you no more. Some of us, the reason why you can't get to the mountaintop is because you can't handle the mountaintop. Well, I sound like a movie there. You can't handle the truth. You need me on that wall. <laughs> but we need God. Oh, see, you thought I'm talking about myself. Now I'm recording the movie. You need God on your wall. Because He's the one that will secure your good. I'm glad you caught that. <laughs> Hallelujah. You need God to secure your good. Your good is no good without God. Hello? I said your good is no good without God. Hallelujah. Many people have good things on this earth, but without God, they need nothing. Somebody say nothing. Hallelujah. I'm a witness to that, y'all. I know it. I know it. I know it. You got to understand, there was a time in my life and in, uh, 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 in my family, amen, to where we had the good job and making that big money, amen, but I didn't have the relationship uh -huh. with God that I was supposed to have. Yes. Hallelujah. And listen, all my needs, it looked like they were supplied mm -hmm. because of the work of my hands. Come on, y'all. Hallelujah, because I got up early in the morning, mm -hmm. went to work, amen, made a good paycheck. Yes. Looked like everything was going well, but my marriage, come on somebody, mm -hmm. was suffering. My, 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 my relationship with my children was suffering. Right. Hallelujah. And it may look all good on the surface. Because you got savings in the bank, and you got money, you got the new cars, you got the house, you got all these things that look good. That's right. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. But I'd rather have love. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. See, my wife, when we came to the altar, she said she was going to love me for richer and for richer. Because we experienced the poor days. Come on, and I ain't going back. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. It's what you claim. Come on now. Amen. We had a conversation. I said, we had a conversation. <laughs> but without God, we would not be secure. Amen. We would be fighting because we remember those days. Arguing all the time. Arguing so much, you forget what you was arguing about. You just know you're arguing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. It's no good without God. I'd rather have love. Come on now. From my wife and from my children and from my loved ones, from my church family. Hallelujah. People are, as you know, this spirit of suicide is out there. Hallelujah. It's because they don't feel the love. Hallelujah. They don't have the peace of God. They don't have the fruit of the Spirit. But the only way you know that you're entitled to these things is by having a conversation with God. Hallelujah. By reading the Word of God. By reading the will of God. Knowing what you're entitled to. Knowing that no weapon that's formed against you is going to prosper. And even all those people that's talking about you, God is going to condemn those things. Yes. It shall not come to pass in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Mm -hmm. But you've got to communicate with God and allow him to 
speak that word, not just speak it, but speak it into you. You got to get the word in you. Hallelujah. You got to allow that word to abide in you. It's not enough to know it. It's a whole lot of folk know it. Oh man, I'm telling you, they can quote the scripture from Come on. I ain't that way. I'm the pastor. I'll admit it. I got to go find it sometime. Hello, somebody? Sometimes, amen, I can't get the exact verse, but I know it's in there. The Bible's like a good spaghetti sauce. Come on, somebody. I may not have every ingredient, but I taste it. Come on. I was able to taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. To just get it. Come on, y'all. Get it on the inside. And know that the word is in there. Hey, man. Look, y'all. Y'all got Google now. You can Google the Bible. <laughs> we used to have to go, and some of us, we don't know where the scripture is, though. Where is Psalms at? Lamentation. What is That tell a lot of we don't know the word of God. Yeah. You can have people come in here and say anything to you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That's why you have to acquit yourself with the word of God. Yes, you may not know chapter and verse, but you need to be able to know whether somebody is speaking the truth. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to know, you got to search. You can't just take the word. You can't just take people's messages and things that face value. That's right. Hallelujah. You're supposed to have your pen and say, oh, let me find that scripture. That's right. Make sure, make sure you quote it right. Come on now. Amen. Because you know one word can change it. Yes. Hello, somebody? Yes. I said one word. That's why we like to stick with the King James. Yeah. There's some versions out there that mess you up. Yeah. Every now and then, I do like to go to some other, you know, Amplified sometimes, NIV sometimes. It gives us a little better breakdown, but you can't do that for everyone. Amen. You can't do it for every scripture. Yeah. We know that this word is inspired by God. Hallelujah. And you've got to get it out of the book. Mm -hmm. When you don't know something, when you don't know a meaning of the word, what do you do? We trust the Webster's Dictionary. Come on, somebody. More than we trust the word of God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. We trust the Webster's Dictionary. More than we trust the word of God. Are you searching for the meaning? Hallelujah. The word always backs itself up. Every scripture has more than one witness. Come on, y'all. It backs itself up. If it says it's one place, it's going to say it in another. You're going to be able to find more because the Bible tells us, listen, if you want to come and be a witness, you got to have more than one. It's got to be at least two. Hallelujah. Two or three. Hallelujah. And I'm accusing the word of being the truth today. Amen. Hallelujah. Do I have two more witnesses in the house today? <laughs> Hallelujah. I accuse the word of being life changing. Do I have another witness today? Hallelujah. I accuse the word of being the word of God. Do I have a witness today? Hallelujah. Life changing. Mind regulating. Come on. More. How can you not want more? Somebody say, I want more. Because when you get more of the word, you're getting more of God on the inside of you. And it works. I want us to work on our communicating skills, saints of God. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm not trying to deter you from praying. You need to pray. 
The Bible says we men ought to always pray. That's right. We got to pray. But you got to read the word of God. Amen. And allow God to speak back to you. You won't always hear it coming from heaven. Because it's already here on earth. Amen. His word is already established here on earth. Amen. Do you believe that today? Yes. Come on, somebody say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, give a roll of hand praise yes. today. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Just a reminder today. Have a little talk with Jesus. Yes. You can tell him about your trouble. But the thing is, is that when you read the word of God, I'm going to tell you this and I'm going to close. When you read the word of God, it will change the way you pray. Listen to me. When you read the word of God, it will change the way you pray. Because even with your issues, you're going to say your issue. You can proclaim the issue, whatever it is. But you're going to back it up with the word of deliverance. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, yes, I'm having this help and I'm having this problem, but you said that you, many are the afflictions of the righteous. Amen. And the Lord will deliver me out of them all. Amen. It'll change the way you look at things. Yes, it will. Father, I'm finding a, a shortfall in my income. But you said that you are my Jehovah Jireh, the yes. Lord that provides. Yes. Hallelujah. It'll give you a confidence in who God is. And what he wants to do for you. Lord, you said, I'm going through this thing. And I don't know an exact scripture to go with it. But you said, I know this one. You said, I can ask anything. In your name. Come on, somebody. And you will do it. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. There's a message I bought some years ago. There's a prescription for you. There's a prescription, playing on prescription. Yeah. Playing on that word. There's a prescription uh -huh. for your sickness. There's a prescription for your situation. Whatever you might be going through, God has an answer. But his answer is in the word. Somebody say the word. The word. Come on, give a lot of hand points today. Come on, let's stand up. Oh, I don't want y'all being too sleepy. It's hot up in here. I'm hot. Y'all probably not hot. But I was good today. I didn't tell them to turn off the heat. I was good today. Come on, we're going to pray. Father God, we thank you today. We thank you for how you have blessed us through the song service and through the word and through the praise on today. Father, we ask you right now, God, that as we just continue Oh God, to go throughout this day or go throughout this week and this month and this year. Oh God, give us a hunger and a thirst for your word. In the name of Jesus, help us to realize, oh God, that this is the way that you speak to us. This is the way that you communicate to us. Your already written and established word. Help us, Lord. So many of us, we may find it boring. God, will you give us a hunger and we realize that your word is life. Oh, we will not be able to get enough. Give us direction where to start. Give us direction where to read. In the name of Jesus. Because really, you can start from anywhere. And you will speak to us through your word. So we thank you right now, oh God, and we count it done. Ask you, oh God, that you even start us out on this week, even on today. Help us to study to show ourselves approved. Approved to receive the blessing. Approved that we know the word that applies to our lives. Help us today. We'll be so careful to praise you and give you the glory in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Amen. And amen. If you don't know the Lord in the pardon of your sins, amen. I'm going to ask you to repeat this prayer with me. Amen. And when you do that, I believe God will give you a hunger and a thirst to find out about him. 
and who he is. So today, amen, if you don't know him, I'm going to ask you to repeat this prayer. Say, Lord God, I'm asking you to come into my life. Forgive me for all of my sins and all of my shortcomings. And I'm determined that with your help and with your grace, I will be able to live the life that you have ordained for me as a child of the Most High God. I bind everything that will try to throw me off and I stand in my liberty that you have given me today. In Jesus' name, somebody say amen, amen. and amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand praise again. Now shout hallelujah. with us in this service. We ask you right now to bless them, keep them, provide for them, be their way maker. Remind them, oh God, that you are Lord in every situation in their life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We bid you God speed those who are joining us online. Amen. We want you to take the opportunity to give. Amen. At this time we're going to take up an offering. Amen. And you can go online and give online at www.citadelofhopemission.org Amen. Or you can bring your offering to the church. Amen. We would love to see you do that. Or you can mail your offering Amen. to P.O. Box 409 Readers, Pennsylvania 18352 Amen. 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 So those online, we bid you Godspeed. Amen. Come on, give the Lord another hand. Pray. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. We thank God for you joining us on our broadcast today. We pray that this service has been a blessing to you. Uh, we want to uh, ask you to please consider joining us. Uh, we, are, we are here live on Sunday mornings. Uh, you can feel free to come and join us on Facebook Live and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, if this uh, ministry has been a blessing to you, we also want you to consider uh, financially supporting us and becoming a partner with us. You can do that uh, by going to our website, citadelofhopemission.org. There you would be able to give online. And if you're a first time guest, please feel free to go to our website and uh, 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 let us know who you are so that we can stay connected with you. So until next time, we bid you Godspeed and we pray the blessings of God over your life. We say God bless. Mm -hmm.